guys keep fucking exploding on me. These fucking guys keep running away from me outside of my fucking attack range. God damn it, what the fuck? Welcome to Lunacy Gaming. I'm Luna Celestial. Do you not know what game to play? Me either. Do you want to waste much time figuring out what game to play? Me either. Do you secretly wish that an advanced species of aliens would take over the planet and render humans to little more than pets that they watch for their amusement, making it so you don't have to worry about things like money or a job or that jerk Jared consciously uncoupling from you for saying that Star Wars sequel trilogy was a complete abomination to the franchise? Yeah, no, me, uh, me either. No, that's totally not something that I'm going through right now. So I decided to use the Surprise Me feature in the Xbox app to choose what Xbox Ultimate Game Pass game I would play. Subscribe to the channel and you'll get updated if the Game Pass games are any good or not. Last week, surprised me, chose Minecraft Dungeons as if someone has never played Minecraft before. I didn't really know what to expect. What I got was top-down, third-person hack and slash mayhem in the world of Minecraft. Nothing overly impressive, but also not an unfun game by any means. If you like Minecraft and you like running around beating the blocky snot out of your enemies and collecting loot and gear to turn your character into an unstoppable force of nature, probably gonna dig Minecraft Dungeons. On the other hand, fuck is it boring. I don't know if it's my lack of interest in the world of Minecraft or dungeon crawlers or whatever, but I very much felt like I was just going through the motions with the campaign missions in this game. Is it fun beating up hordes of enemies? Sure. Does it get super old super quick? Yes. That's why I think I enjoyed the tower more than the campaign. In the tower, you have a bunch of floors of enemies you have to fight through to get to the top of the tower and claim your block excellence or something. But outside of just the normal mob enemies that you usually fight, there's tougher enemies sprinkled in as well, and there's bosses every couple of floors or something. Basically, it felt like the campaign missions you fight through waves of mobs to get to one singular boss, and the only difficulty increase comes from just throwing more mob enemies at you, whereas in the tower, difficulty is increased by throwing tougher enemies at you while also increasing the number of mob enemies thrown at you, which I'm all here for. Did I get to the top of the tower? No. Do I keep trying to get to the top of the tower? Yes. Do I keep playing through the campaign missions? Fuck no. Should I probably keep playing through the missions so that I level up? Hey, fuck you. Like I said, it's not a bad game, but I do really spend a lot of time in the tower, so I can definitely recommend that you play the game. But would I recommend that you buy Minecraft Dungeons? Would I recommend that you take your hard-earned dollars and give them to a corporation like Microsoft and then expect a quality experience? As I was writing the script, I was telling myself there's no way I'd spend a penny on this game. And I was going to suggest that it was strictly a title to pick up and play if you happen to have the Game Pass. But then, in researching, I found out the game was only $19.99. And honestly, I wouldn't have a problem spending that on Minecraft Dungeons. You could wait for it to go on sale and it'd be even better, but either way, there's worse ways you could spend $20. To answer the question of why I would actually spend money on this game, here's a couple of clips of my soul leaving my body after getting my stupid blockhead bashed in over and over again and still deciding to play this stupid game. Off to a great start. That felt good. Boom. Travel. A nocturnal bow. Let's go for it. No, not that. Fuck that. Let's go with the bow. Let's get out of here. Ow, 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 ow. These guys are hurting me. I don't like being hurt. Let's get at it. Look at my handsome boy. Look at my handsome boy. Look at my handsome boy. I found some of you who lift this at the store the other day. You could lift this dick. My new favorite thing in the whole wide world that I, I've I done seen to. Hey, stop reading books. Where's the last guy? Ah! Taste my crossbow! I'm not in the right spot! I fucking. Here we go. We got a boss. We got a boss. We got a boss. Boom. 
doing wrong. Trying to get those guys first. That's not working. Those guys keep fucking exploding on me. These fucking guys keep running away from me outside of my fucking attack range. God damn it, what the fuck? Stuff like that so much, but I just kept falling. Oh my goodness. I'm bad at video games. <laughs> oh, it'd be funny if it wasn't so fucking sad. This is my favorite part because not two seconds after proclaiming we're doing way better than we were last time, I died, died again, and then 18 seconds later, I died again! You wanna see if I get angry? Let's find out. Okay. We're getting them. Bringing them down. We're, we're way better than we were the first time. No! Sad. And wanna know what's worse is I keep trying to beat the stupid tower! It's literally just frustrating enough that I want to prove to it that I can beat it so I can earn its approval and finally have it love me! So anyways, that's Warcraft Dungeons. Uh, don't forget to hit all the buttons, subscribe, and turn on notifications because next we're gonna find out what Warcraft 5 is all about! See you in the next live stream!